Chris Olave. I hate this, by the way. I love this. And I I like him substantially more than our last receiver, Terry McLaurin. Um the 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 way to win fantasy football, stud wide receiver in his second or third year, he, before the before the pop, before the breakout. And you could argue Olave maybe even broke out a little bit last year after Michael Thomas went down. Finished as a low end wide receiver too. You got Derek Carr there now instead of a motley crew of nobodies throwing the ball. Like they're going to be able to throw the ball a lot better this year. Um, and that offense is going to look a lot better this year. So Chris Olave, watch out. I am, I am going to have several shares of him this season. 119 targets as a rookie. Yes. All right, so 20th in targets with 119, 26th in catches, 72, 17th in yards with over 1,000. Uh, only four touchdowns. Uh, Michael Thomas had three uh, in his first two games last year, uh, just to put that in perspective. 20, tied for 25th with 10.8 points per game uh, in half PPR. New Orleans threw the 26th most times between Blandy Dalton uh who are they, did Freeman ever play? I, I don't know. Just uh, uh, does w- Jameis Winston, <coughs> not Freeman. Um, and uh, our, our boy or my, my tight end playing quarterback occasionally. So I just don't like, I think Michael Thomas just kind of scares me off of a lave. That's, that's the only reason I'm scared of a lave. Cause I think Michael Thomas comes back into the wide receiver one role. If he stays healthy. Like I do. That, wait, that's my only wait, concern. Hold here. on. If Michael Thomas is what? If Michael Thomas returns and stays healthy, <laughs> he does. He's, he 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 stays healthy. Yes. When's when's the last time Michael Thomas played like four games in a season? Uh, hold Was it on. like four I, years I, ago now? Uh, twenty nineteen. Yeah, pre COVID. Like, how old is Michael Thomas right now? Uh, that's also a good question. He's thirty, wow. so he's younger than Ke- so he's younger than Keenan Allen, younger than Hopkins. You know, one of those things where like, like have you ever, have you ever done like the personal health tests where like you uh, your, no because because oh. they would tell me that I'm dying and I just don't want yeah. To so like you do like your personal health tests, you know, that your your age, your weight, your your BMI, you get your blood work done, and then you get your health results in like a week and it tells you that you're like 7 years older than you actually are Uh-oh. or whatever. Like like that is Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas might be 30 years of age, but I think he probably has the body of a 47-year-old. Like, well, he hasn't really gotten hit the last three years, so maybe he doesn't. I bet he grunts when he gets up off the couch. You know what I mean? Like okay, the sign. Well, I mean, that's not fair. Like the sign that you're I getting that. old. Like I think I'm, I'm just also saying 35. So it's like, fair. I refuse to ever do that because that means that you're old. I think Michael Thomas grunts when he gets up. I think he grunts when he puts his shoes on because he can't move his ankle in a way that like f- puts it in the there. shoe easier because he doesn't have ankles. It's like just one giant rod down there at this point. I'm just saying. Are we sh- are we also sure that Derek Carr's good? I'm sorry. Where did uh Devontae Adams finish last season? I get that. Why receive your three? But Derek Carr might be might be bad. Bad enough to support the third overall wide receiver in fantasy football. Man, I wish I I wish I wish the Bears had a bad quarterback that could support the wide receiver three overall in fantasy points. Man, I wish I wish I wish my guy was that terrible to support a receiver to finish with a hundred catches, fifteen hundred yards, and fourteen touchdowns. That's terrible. Chris Olave, currently the 12th ranked wide receiver on Fantasy Pros. 
I have him at 21. Jason has him at 15. He's currently going about pick 30. Uh, finishes wide receiver 25 and a half PPR last year. I I think the price is going to be too rich for me. So um, have have fun taking him in the middle of the, of the third round. I'll be targeting others. Wow. And we're not going to do a board bet on any of this. You're just going to talk all this un- like outrageous slander. Can, I mean, you can offer it. Oh, what do you want? Targets, yards, you tell catches. Me? Uh, I don't. I'll do. I'll do 1,200 yards. Okay, I will take the under. Okay, deal. Olave, don't let me down, boy. We got this. 1,200 yards. 12 hundo. I, I mean, believe, you, man. You do realize how that there's not that many receivers that did that last year, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Because that was, uh, what, one, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven? Yeah. Jefferson, I mean, the- Hill, Adams, Brown, Diggs, Lamb, Waddle. And you're just throwing Chris Olave in that. <laughs> Devonta Smith was four yards away. Terry McLaurin was nine yards away. Amonra was 40 yards away. Amari was okay. 40 yards away. Like, I wanted to go 1,100, but I didn't think you'd do it. No, you're right. I wouldn't. So, yeah, that's what you say now. <clears throat> I didn't have to. You negotiated against yourself. That's why yeah. I had to go first. Anyway, good luck to you, Olave Believers. Hey, I had him. He was great for stretches last year, and then quarterback play kind of uh, kind of got him in a couple places. So, like, um, can we can we just remark on the fact that he finished with more than a thousand yards and and still almost 120 targets when when Taysom Hill was the quarterback for stretches of last season, and they threw like three passes in a game. Like, that's remarkable. Honestly. Yeah, I also believe it, at least at one point uh, when uh, I believe Jameis started the season at least a little bit right and didn't like Olave have like 240 air yards one game on yeah. like. <laughs> or, Dude is bananas. Think, yeah. So um, he, he has the potential. He's a deep threat for sure. I'm not saying I hate him. I'm just saying I think he's getting shown a smidge too much love. 